Welcome to our lesson about routing settings. The settings dialog window can be accessed via the routing menu. Select routing tools and routing options setup. There's a number of settings branches and checkboxes here. We're just going to look at them more in a second. We'll cancel out of the window for now. Another way to access this setup window is via the options menu. On the system options tab, choose the routing branch. Now let's review these options. Automatically route on drop of flanges connectors. This option automatically creates a route stub assembly and starts the routing process when, for example, you drag and drop a flange from your library. The next option is automatically route on drop of clips. A clip is a routing component for electrical cable and flexible tubing. Clips hold electrical cable and flexible tubing in place. Let's check both of these options. Automatically route on drop of flanges and automatically route on drop of clips. The next option I'd like to talk about is automatically create sketch fillets. When you check this box, a sketch fillet will be added at sketch intersections. The fillet radius is based upon the selected elbow part, bend radius, or maximum cable diameter. I'm going to check this option. I'm also going to check save route parts externally. And I'll check use automatic naming for route parts. Create custom fittings. This automatically creates custom configurations for default elbow fittings. Create pipes on open line segments. This creates pipes for 3D sketch segments when the sketches are connected to fittings only on one side. At this point, I'm ready to click OK and exit the options window. And this concludes our lesson about routing settings.